the right. You know, they're actually saying that in the grade school again. Are they? Everybody well, ready? Yeah, shot sure, that. She did that too. <laughs> Call to order the regular common council meeting, Monday, November 19th, 7 p.m. Roll call. McIntyre? Yes. Lisa? Yes. Davis? Yes. Olson? Yes. Walnuts? Yes. Burdick? Yes. Next item, Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Confirmation of appropriate meeting notice. Meeting was noticed on Friday, November 16th. Agenda was posted at the Post Office Library and City Hall. Thank you. Um, next item is Council acceptance of the agenda. I'd like to move up the consider mayor's appointments because one of my appointments has uh, another commitment he has to get to. <laughs> and like this. I'll uh, motion to approve the agenda with moving up number 10 to number 5. Between 5 and 6. Okay. I'll Between second. 5 and 6. We have a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Public hearing. We'll be hearing to hear comments regarding the 2019 proposed budget document. Anything we need to present? No, nothing has changed since your last meeting. Okay, is there anyone that wishes to ask anything about the budget or any discussion? No? Okay, we will close the public hearing. And now we'll move down to number 10 and consider mayor's appointments. I have a couple of them. Um, for library board, Nancy Burrow resigned. Thank her for her many years of being on that board. And I would like to air, nominate Aaron Springstead for that position. I'll, I'll make that as a motion. Second. Any discussion? Everybody know Aaron? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. It'd be a nice addition. Yes, a wonderful lady. Okay. Motion and a second for Aaron Sprigstead for the library. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. And then effective December 7th, Terry Dickinson is resigning from the police commission and I would like to nominate Dr. Mark Coombs for that position. I'll make that a motion. Second. second. Any discussion or any questions for him? <laughs> Another nice addition. Just mm -hmm. Do we know how it's going to affect the uh, process we're in right now? Um, hopefully it works out real well since he is on the, one of the committees that has been involved in the selection. <laughs> so mm. he'll be able to fit right in and if it's okay with the uh, commission, he can continue to sit in other meetings even full session okay okay anyone else all those in favor of dr mark coombs as the police commission appointee say aye aye, aye. aye. opposed motion carried thank you there thank you that thank was you. the hardest part now everything else after that's real easy <laughs> 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 Okay, thank you. Thank you for moving that. Well, I want that to be moved up so they can get to their other appointment. Okay, now we'll go to personal appearances. Anyone in the audience who wishes to speak on anything that's not on the agenda? All right, we'll move down to the minutes from November 5th. Motion to approve. Second. Any corrections or additions? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Okay, committee reports, finance, Mark. I'm going to make a motion mm -hmm. to approve a pay request number six from G. Fox and Son Incorporated for the Broadway and Chaucer Street Improvement Project in the amount of $34,537.54. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Yes. 
Yes. Issa? Yes. David? Yes. Holton? Yes. Burden? Yes. Motion passes. Motion to approve bills and payroll in the amount of $243,000, $243,000. $243,199.30. Second. Any questions on the bills? Hearing none, roll call. <coughs> Wellness? Yes. David? Yes. Olson? Yes. Burdick? Yes. McIntyre? Yes. Issa? Yes. Motion passes. There are no licenses, um, so I'll go ahead and make a motion to approve a facade grant for 102 West Fulton Street in the amount of Two thousand three hundred eighty-nine dollars and twenty cents. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none. Roll call. Yes. Olson. Yes. Burdick. Yes. McIntyre. Yes. Issa. Yes. David. Yes. Motion passes. That's all I have for finding. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Anything from the police commission? The commission is uh, in the process of interviewing candidates. They've set an interview date for the first round of interviews for December 4th. Thank you. Anything from the tree board? Um, the rotary donation of uh, trees to start the linear arboretum in Racetrack Park. Uh, the trees are planted. Uh, the city received, uh, has received now two more grants, one from Alliance Energy Foundation for uh, $2,500, and then a DNR grant for $5,000 off an effort to improve trees in the city. Wow, great. great. Thank you. Anything from utilities? Yeah, we just met last uh, Monday. We did, just went through the, we basically paid the bills. Okay, thank you. RDA, we met earlier tonight, and one was the grant there, and another one was adding, paying an increase on the baskets for downtown. <clears throat> okay, next item is consider adoption of City of Edgerton Resolution 2018, adoption of 2019 annual budget and established document and established 2018 tax levy. I'll make a motion to do so. I'll second. Any discussion? Yeah, I do, Chris. I have a, some things here. On, on the uh, <coughs> memo Ramona handed out for the, uh, um, the budget and capital list, I just had a couple things just for my own understanding of what's going on. On page 28, um, we have transfer from TIF number five, $175,000. Is that just something that we gotta repay back the general fund, Ramona, that we borrowed off the TIF? What page are you on, Matt? Uh, page 20, uh, 28, Ramona, apologize. Yeah. What's that? The debt service Trade page. Check. Oh, okay. Gotcha. 10-4 on that. And then the um, on the next page, uh, um, the third line down under, it says uh, public land purchase, 135000 for 19 pro. What's that for you? What TIF is that? What's um, the budget number? Yeah, that's just the budget on the next page, 29. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't have page numbers on mine. Okay. The header. City, building. city Village, yes. Yeah, thanks. Is that just for... City Village for 135 and the public library fund. 400? Oh. Yeah. Yes, that's, Ramona. That's what? the AC at the library. Oh, cool. Great. Excellent. And then um, uh, on page 30, Cindy, since you have it, I just want to... Uh, um, the um, transfer to debt service, 175000 that's the business park. That's the same thing, paying back. Correct. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. And then we're doing so good out there. Three hundred forty-eight thousand dollars we we uh, propose to make next year off that business park, Chris, that we all even put in ten, fifteen years ago. So that's doing really good. You know, getting some good tax base off that, and we'll be retiring in a couple of years. So just thought, you know, that was a business economic in incentive that we. We did years ago out there, and it's turning out good, just like the downtown and stuff. It's just some good things are happening in the city, mm -hmm. and on that. And then on the next page, 31, it says business recruitment and incentive for the downtown TIF, 124 thousand dollars. I probably I wasn't. Uh, what do you know what that one's for? Primarily made up of the Keller payment. Oh. For Fulton Square, all of the facade programs come out of that. 10-4. Thanks. 
And then on the downtown TIF, uh, TIF number six, we're generating over 400 some thousand dollars of revenue next year. So that's, I mean, testament to everyone involved there. That's some pretty good stuff for planning and <coughs> so forth. And I just had to just comment on that. It was just, it just some nice stuff. All right, thank you. Anyone else? Um, I actually have a question on an item we previously discussed on 8E. Um, can you ask, or can you actually let us know what happened on the discussion about the TIF? Are you uh, able to tell us about the, um, for the, uh, the baskets? For the basket? Yeah, there was um, an increase requested budget? after the budget was set, and uh, RDA voted to fund that increase. And what was the current budget amount? 13000 total for the tree trimming and the baskets, I believe, is what it is. Tree trimming? Oh, the... Mm -hmm. Downtown tree trimming. Oh, okay. That's also As I recall, contract. we we lowered that in mm -hmm. budget last year. Yeah, right. Yeah, and we also cut back on baskets, too, last year. So. Yeah, that's what I thought. So are we going to increase baskets now as a result of this, or...? Uh, there hasn't been a price increase since 2011, and so the vendors asked for a price increase for the first time. So is this to just replace baskets that are deteriorating or add extra baskets? That's just the operating cost of the whole program. Okay, so we won't be adding or, nor decreasing no. the baskets. No. We'll just be out, we're carrying on the same where we were then. Correct. Yep. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? <coughs> well, I have one other thing. Um, has there been any discussion about possibly putting some Christmas lights on the post downtown? I mean, I, I drive through neighboring communities, and Jefferson's got some beautiful snowflakes that light up the town. And last night I was in Milton, and they have some beautiful wreaths with um, candles inside of them hanging from the post. And you go through our downtown, and it's just dark and drab at night, and it'd be nice to see, to start putting up a few lights at Christmas time, and is there a possibility, since we can um, take money out of the TIF if for the baskets, would something like that be eligible for TIF funds in the future, or to start some kind of a project for that? So give it a week, and you'll see how bright it is downtown. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are, are we going to have more than... This weekend. Yeah, I mean, besides the... The, the tree at the depot and, and then the, the baskets that usually have one little tiny string of lights in them, is there going to be extras now downtown? Well, the whole depot is lit up. Okay. Well, what about the, the, the main drag, what do you want to say, downtown? It'd be kind of nice to see, you know, something to complement the depot. Yeah, we've talked about that. It's an expense. The, yeah. You know, it's yeah. not cheap at all to do that. So if that's something that we want to put on an agenda for conversation, we certainly could. We don't have an estimate for you as to what it would cost. Yeah. I, I think there was some issue with the posts and putting, putting that much weight on them, on these posts. Was, they weren't made for that type of thing, were they? There's issues with the all the receptacles. Mm -hmm. We'd have to do some yeah, updating right. because yeah. they're, they've been weathering for many years, so we would probably have to do some, address some of that before they would all work. When we put them in back in, uh, in 2005 or six, uh, we they didn't have electrical out outlets on them. Then we upgraded, we put outlets on them, but their probably need to be re reworked. The old, the old, the existing posts were refurbed for yeah. outlets, and the new posts have outlets in them. But yeah. it's really the wiring. Okay. Yeah. So it, you know the RDA could look into that as a project. Well, I certainly, for one, like to see the you know a little bit of sparkle in the, on the, on Fulton Street there in front of our businesses. That, would that redevelopment authority would have to take that up? Yeah, it's I mean, it. ultimately that TIF won't, you know, it doesn't have that many years left. So once you invest in that, recognize that it will become something you want to keep doing. You'll have to find another source for those funds. It, there won't be a TIF forever to fund it. Right. So, um, you know, we try not to put a lot of operating costs in a TIF district that are things that we get, you know, used to having, and then you have no source of funds for them. So the RDA could take that up. At least the initial cost of the ornaments or decorations, the you're saying cost rewiring? after that would be... I'm sorry, you're saying rewiring that they need? Yeah. It's okay, so that would be a big expense mm -hmm. to start up. But yeah, you can see it. 
Well, I, I, I personally agree with you because I, I drive through about eight cities every single day and every city's got, well, I think we have a beautiful downtown, by the way. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a great, just to compliment all the wonderful work that uh, what's been done at the depot in Central Park is just amazing. And just to oh, kind of yeah. like maybe every fourth pole or something with like a wreath or something, just, just something like that. That, that. That's just my personal viewpoint on it. We'll see what happens in the future. You have to start somewhere. You know, we talked at, uh, back in the, uh, 2006 and 2007 about doing things like that for uh, some former council members, Paul Davis and a couple people. So yeah, just just bring it up. Okay. Okay. Anyone else? Motion is to approve the adopt the City of Edger Edgerton Resolution 2018. If there's no further discussion, roll call. Governor? Yes. Davis. Yes. Wilson? Yes. 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 Motion passes. And number 10 is done. <laughs> so we'll move over to Mayor, Alder Persons, and Staff Reports. Okay. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. It's coming up real quick. <laughs> um, and this Saturday is the Home for the Holidays festivities starting at the library and downtown and then the lighting of the tree and we'll have the Central Park lit up then after that. That's you... this weekend? Yeah, we're going to get going on a couple <laughs> things. <yet. laughs> we may not be around. I have plans. No. Uh, I'm going to apologize you... ahead of time for the float that we're going to have. <laughs> for the what? The float. The float. <laughs> for, oh. just, just, you'll understand after Saturday. I'm hey. trying to get him to change it, but a no naughty this float. This is a in family. Yes, yeah, it's a family <laughs> function. We're, we're, we're tired from future ones. <laughs> no, no Santa Claus is on it either. And no Santa Claus. <laughs> I'll Thanks keep so an eye out. Okay. <laughs> Even bad Santas? There is only one <laughs> Santa Claus. <laughs> Yeah, I just want to comment that the budget was a really good budget. We've been through it many years, everyone here has, and uh, some nice things that the library updates that really, really needed bad. It was nice that uh, we can go uh, further on that. And I think with, uh, Tom, thank you for coming up with the concept about putting a couple of plow blades in, in the pickup trucks. I think that'll help tremendously a lot with your snow plowing, especially around all the curbs we got nowadays and all the you know, revitalization that we did downtown. That'll be a thanks for coming at a concept idea, so forth. And um, also next year, as we all know, traveling through this town in the summertime when it rains, that's, that's down by the shoe factory, it floods so much. But I think there's money in the budget, isn't there, Chris Ramona, to try to reroute a little bit of stormwater off that street. So that's a, that's a really nice heads up thinking, and, and that's going to help our safety and to the pedestrians and so forth. And uh, and uh, thanks for the council for voting for that speed trail. I think it's going to be kind of handy for some of these streets around town where people are just going crazy speed, and at least we've got some documentation on that type, type stuff. And I'll, hopefully next year that who's ever around next year and so forth, we'll have some more business development up in the Northside Business Park and to help that TIF district even better and things like that and, and around town. I've got a couple more things here. Actually, two thank yous from... Chief Kubertons. For some reason, we got two of them here. First one says, City Council, I would like to thank you for the presentation and gifts as I begin retirement. I leave proud. Thank you for the journey, Chief. And then we got another one that was addressed, I know it was to myself, and I think Mayor, Mayor, City Staff, was it City Staff? And Two parties. Yeah. It, I know, but it's, it's, it sounds the same here. If you, <laughs> um, thank you for not only the years of memories, but also for taking the time to recognize these and the presentation of gifts. I hope you can, I hope I can throw all my energy into the next phase as I did during my tenure. It was a pleasure working with, okay, quote, and sometimes against, unquote, <laughs> all of you for the better of Edgerton. <laughs> Best of luck, Chief. So. <laughs> So we got we got thanked twice. And they were dressed, I believe, the same. So <laughs> you guys get some to your personal houses. I know I did. You get some to your personal house. Thank you. I didn't know. Yeah, I, I did. I, don't I didn't expect to though. Me, me neither. I it surprised think that's me. What this is that one addressed? But basically, said the same type of stuff, Chris. 
Um, that is all I have. Anyone else have anything? I'd like to say happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Yeah. Hope you have a wonderful day. Same to all. Happy holiday. Go ahead. The outreach is always needs help on Thanksgiving morning if people want to go up and help out up there for at St. John's Church. So going up Christmas year? Am I? You going up again? Uh, I have quite a few years in a row now, so oh, I, better, I know I better you make have. it. <laughs> I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye.